everybody, Josh Jr. here. This adventure, well, it's not much of an adventure, it's more of a beginning of a task. What you're looking at are four barrels of obsidian. These are the QT12 barrels. And what I'm doing is I'm going to start rolling these to make them all shiny and nice and pretty. So this material is the gold sheen and I want to thank the CBC1 claim owner. He's one of the four owners of it, or partners, uh, Emery Coons. I was up there visiting with him and he allowed me to pick up this material which other people have discarded with a scoop shovel and dump it into a bucket and bring it home just so I can play with it because this is no better way to learn how to how the stuff polishes than practice. I have no vested interest in this material whatsoever. It is just basically overburdened from the dig sites up there. So let me get started on talking about this a little bit more. Okay, we're going to pick on this barrel because this is a prime example with everything with a mix of what we're looking at on top. Typically, you're going to want to have some sort of filler material in here. Most commonly used with obsidian is ceramic media. This time, I'm not using it. The reason why is because when I pick that stuff up with a scoop shovel, I already got media-sized material in here. So it's all four of these has a good mix of tumbled size material with the fill material. There's no better material to use other than the material itself for fill. Now, so what we're going to be doing is we'll be putting a one and a quarter cups. Again, 12 pound barrel, 12 pound capacity barrel. One and a quarter cups of coarse grit, 60, 90 silicon carbide in this. Pre measured. Then I'm going to put in my white stuff. Yes, white stuff. You don't have to use the white stuff. I use it because I like what it does. But you don't have to use it. Then I will fill it up right to the rock level with water, seal it, and roll it. Now, it's recommended to roll this for about 10 days. That is if you have a standard QT12 tumbler. In my case I have a variable speed custom built rotary that can support three of these barrels and I am going to adjust the speed accordingly based off of prior experience so this will be done between five and seven days. Now this barrel doesn't seem quite as full because a friend of mine, Miko, how are you doing Miko, is a flint, is a napper. Napper means he makes points in arrowheads, spears, things like that. And these are cuts that he gave to me to polish up. So these are going to go in this batch. And this is all the stuff that he gave to me. There we go. Perfect. And stuff that he's cut up to size so he can actually do his napping work on it the way he wants to. So, that's going to be a noisy barrel. I'm going to go ahead and do the, add the water to this and get it rolling.
There it's rolling. Five to seven days. That one may roll ten. But this one here, five to seven days. Now, it will take, let's say, seven days and then for coarse grit, another seven days for pre-polish, I mean for medium grit, then it will take three days for pre-polish and two days for polish. That's going to be a total of 19 days that I will be able to see some polished material. My polishing process though is slower than this. So it will take me quite some time to get through all of this, all the way polished. So just remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine sitting here polishing some obsidian. Thank you, Emery Coons. I appreciate it. This is the Adventures of Josh Jr. Have a good one, everybody.